330 yards to that telegraph pole, no problem at all. Hey guys, something a little different this week. I am doing a gear review. <laughs> um, All Light contacted me a couple of weeks back about having a look at this product and I was well up for it. Okay, I'm already an All Light user. I have three. Um, I have two buttons that I uh, uh, keep in, in my wife, myself and my wife's car. Uh, and then I have a seeker that I use uh, for taking the dog out. Um, it's a great dog walking light, very bright um, and uh, nicely portable. And one of the great features of these lights is the magnetic uh, tail charger, which I'll show you in a sec. When they contacted me, it was really fortuitous because obviously I've recently started stalking and I wanted something with a bit more beam throw because when I'm uh, looking for quarry, and this works for sort of uh, stalking or equally duck flighting or whatever, and you want to be able to find stuff that you've downed in the dark, um, obviously you shot it during legal light hours, but um, it gets dark when you're looking for it. Um, I wanted something a bit more... Um, bit more powerful with a bit more throw, but without a lot of weight um, or bulk because I don't want to carry around unnecessary weight. Happily days, here we are with the Warrior X Turbo. Let's have a look inside the box and you'll see what I mean. So I'll spin it round. We open the box, a little magnetic flap, quite nice, nicely packaged. Uh, we've got the light itself, which comes in this holster, again, magnetic flap. Uh, just over 15 centimetres long with a 6 centimetre bezel. Machine CNC aluminium body uh, clip with a tail switch. There's no side switch on this. Um, it's just two modes of operation. There's no SOS beacon mode, uh, none of that useless flash crap that I never use. It's basically half press for low power, full press for full power. You'll see that in a sec. Uh, single Cree LED uh, with this great big reflector, which is what gives it its party trick. Inside the box, uh, apart from the holster, you get uh, instructions, a lanyard, um, a charger, which I'll show you in a sec, and uh, that loop, which is, I think, a stand, so you can stand it, tail on, yeah, handy. Uh, the magnetic charger, that's, that's awesome. All of these lights have this feature in common, um, and it is this ability to just clip on the magnetic charger. Dead simple, works on any old light you can use this on, um, awesome. Just plugs into any USB charger, obviously the higher the output, the faster the charge. Um, and there is, I think, a, a min-max uh, voltage output uh, or amperage output, and it tells you actually, um, one amp or 1.5 amp or two amp, there you go. Um, dead handy, you can plug this into your car, have it in your truck or whatever, and then just chuck it on charge when you finished using it. Dead easy, that's why I got them as, as, as uh, general use in the car lights. Um, I was super impressed with this light. I took it out last night and did some testing um, where you can see this light and its uh, intense party trick. Um, let's go take a look how I fared in the dark. Hey guys, so here we are with the Warrior X Turbo in the dark. Um, having a little play. This is low power mode, which I think you can see, um, you get a defined light cone, um, which is more than enough to see, um, and then a very, very focused point. 12 and a half hours of runtime in this mode, and I think that's a more than useful um, beam for sort of making your way around uh, and guaranteeing yourself a huge amount of runtime. 12 and a half hours is bloody ridiculous. But, to be honest, it's not this torch's party piece. When we give that tail switch a full whack, um, you get a lightsaber. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's wide open. And um, yeah, essentially you can, you can make bat signals with this thing. Um, that tree over there that you can now see illuminated. Um, and that, yeah, that, bush with telegraph pole behind it is 330 yards the tree behind it uh i didn't actually get a range on because it's so far away i couldn't get the range finder to work over the top of that bush but as you can see you've got more than enough illumination this thing's supposed to do a thousand meters i believe it i've tested it at a half a mile 
um, and it works. Uh, but in terms of usable range, like how far do I want to see in the dark, 300, 300 plus yards is more than enough for what I need to do. I think this with um, you know, a pick rail mount, which they do sell, and a pressure switch, which is also available on the website, um, would be an amazing uh, lamping, rabbit and foxing uh, setup. Although it's not what I've used it for, um, my intention is to use this for sort of looking for game. Um, when we uh, do a bit of duck flighting during the season, being able to find them after, the, after it's come dark with a torch that can reach this far is stellar. And of course, looking for anything um, that we've shot in the closing gloaming dark, uh, finding, uh, finding sort of quarry that you've shot at the death of light, uh, you, you're going to be able to find it with this thing. Um, stunning, stunning bit of kit. Uh, highly well yeah I'm very very impressed back to the bench technical specifications then um, the light uh, has a max output of 1100 lumens um, and it will step down through its outputs based on heat so as it gets hotter it will step down to 600 lumens after six and a half minutes uh, and run for 105 minutes and then 300 and then down to low power mode at 150 lumens at 150 lumens <clears throat> 12 and a half hours it's been drop tested up to a metre and a half. Um, it's waterproof IPX8. Uh, as I said earlier on, uh, what, 16 centimetres long by uh, six centimetres at the widest point. And it weighs 294 grams. Um, all in all, I think that is a hell of a lot of power in a very small package. As a bonus, the release of this video coincides with a flash sale on the O8 website. Go take a look, the link is below. Um, Starting now, 8 a.m. on the 26th, running through till midday on the 30th, you can get 40% off on one of these. Uh, normal RRP, I think, is 149 with 40% off. That's quite a saving. Um, however, if you do miss it, you don't actually buy it, or you've seen this video in a, at a later date, um, use the code LOYD, that's Lima, Lima, Oscar, Yankee Delta, to get 10% off on any light, uh, apart from the X9R. So a bit of a departure from the norm this week. Um, maybe we'll do some more of these in the future. Uh, depending on how you guys have enjoyed it and whether or not I actually get any of the products to review. Um, thanks for tuning in as ever. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, the usual stuff. I'm on Instagram at LoDP. The Rotten Gun podcast is available on uh, all of your usual podcast uh, locations. Um, and we'll see you next time. Back to the uh, rest of the Browning videos coming up. And look out for the Browning, not Browning, and look out for the Bywell Pro Sporting shoot-off video, which I'll be releasing very soon too. Take care, guys. See you next time.